Hey, how you doing? We are in Proverbs chapter 21, verses 8 through 11 today. Let's see what we got. The way of the guilty is devious, but the conduct of the innocent is upright. Better to live on a corner of the roof than share a house with a quarrelsome wife. The wicked man craves evil. His neighbor gets no mercy from him. When a mocker is punished, the simple gain wisdom. When a wise man is instructed, he gets knowledge. All right, let's take a look here. Verse 8, this could be one of those diagnostic parables. That was one of the little notes in this particular study, student Bible. Um, it said, you know, like sometimes you think, well, that's just obvious. You know, like the way of the guilty is devious, but the conduct of the innocent is upright. Like, isn't that just obvious? Almost like bad people are bad and good people are good. You know, like, is it that, you know, like, but what they were saying here in the footnote was, it helps you determine who you are. It's kind of a diagnosis. So uh, do you have devious thoughts? Well, that puts you in the guilty category. How about uh, upright conduct? Upright conduct? Would you say, yeah, my conduct is upright. That puts you in the innocent category. So if you look at it kind of that direction, it can help you kind of categorize yourself and evaluate, man, do I need to make a change here? Am I actually more in the guilty side than the innocent side? I, I want to make sure I'm doing right. I'm living my life right, you know? And, and so anyway, perhaps that's a diagnostic proverb. Verse 9, better to live on, the, on a corner of the roof than share a house with a quarrelsome wife. So better to uh, live on the corner of the roof, you know, maybe not in Minnesota in January. That might not be the place you want to be, but um, the point here is that if you got family problems, man, that can be bad. It can be rough. And so what I want to say with this one is don't think the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. I heard it put this way one time. The grass is greener where you water it. So you got a quarrelsome wife, you in that situation, Try watering the grass, you know, try making sure that uh, you're doing your part in the relationship, that you're giving and you're helping and you're, you know, doing your part. Um, whatever that might be, obviously it's going to be different in different situations, but, you know, love your wife like Christ loved the church. Do that effectively, you know, the grass is greener where you water it. Go ahead and water it so you're not thinking, man, I'd be better off on a corner of the roof. All right, verse 10. The wicked man craves evil. His neighbor gets no mercy from him. So what's a wicked man who craves evil? Maybe this is another diagnostic. It's someone who won't give mercy to their neighbor. You know, so what's in the heart of this wicked man? It's not mercy. So we want to make sure we're not the wicked man who craves evil. We need to have mercy in our hearts. Mercy means that you don't give someone what they deserve uh, when they deserve something bad. You know, you're merciful towards them. Your heart is, is kind towards them when it's not warranted. You're merciful. So we need to be people of mercy. The wicked man craves evil. His neighbor gets no mercy from him. So if you don't have mercy for your neighbor, that might put you in the, the, the uh, wicked man who craves evil category. So let's be people of mercy. And then I love verse 11. This one to me, I think, is it was profound and very helpful. When a mocker is punished, the simple gain wisdom. When a wise man is instructed, he gets knowledge. So there's the combination or the, the distinction. How do you learn? From punishment or from instruction? Do you have to be forced with bad consequences? Or can you just learn from someone else? who's wise, and then you can grow on your own without having to be punished into doing the right thing. When a mocker is punished, the simple gain wisdom. So don't be the sort of person who needs to be punished in order to do the right thing. That's not who you want to be. Instead, you want to be a wise person who can gain 
knowledge from instruction. That's so much better to learn from instruction rather than punishment. So, let's pray. I want to pray that we would be wise and that we would learn from instruction, but also that we would be able to discern good instruction from bad instruction. Um, Seems to me like pretty much all of the ways you get information nowadays are like the National Enquirer was decades ago. It's just not straightforward, pertinent, true information. So we got to have some discernment in the instruction we're willing to take in. So let's pray along these lines. Heavenly Father, we don't want to be people who need to learn from, uh, from punishment but we want to be able to learn from instruction. We want to be wise and be able to gain knowledge and understanding, insight, and wisdom through instruction. So, Father, help us to grab hold of this. Help us also to have the discernment to understand when we're being manipulated. You know, if the person on the news is laughing at somebody and mocking them, we're probably, it's not good news, uh, not accurate anyway, certainly with a wrong heart. So, Lord, help us to be able to look and see and discern what's actually helpful instruction and what isn't, and help us to heed that instruction so that we can gain knowledge and wisdom rather than needing to be punished and have only negative consequences be the things that helps us grow. So, guide us in this. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.